Alrighty guys, so we are reading Monster High Monster Rescue Operation Find Cleo. We are on page 72 and this is going to be part 6. And yeah. And here you go. The vast emptiness of the desert was overwhelming. The hot sun beam beat down on Dracolor's head, making her feel dizzy. Her arms ached so much from her crazy flight that she felt like crying, but she didn't bit bite back the tears. There was no time for that. Not when her ghouls were missing any in action. Claudine Dragalora called as she stepped out from the statue. Frankie there was no answer. Jackalora yelled their names again. She couldn't hear her voice echo off the stony sides of the pyramid. It seemed to spire high into the clear blue sky. Or maybe that was just her imagination. Walking at a pace, Jackalora set off alo along each side of the pyramid, still calling for her ghoul friends. Side one... Nothing. Side two, nothing. Side three, nothing. Side four, still nothing. At last, she was back and forth. Back, oh my gosh. <sighs> she was back at the entrance to the pyramid. It was later now, she could tell, because the shadows had shifted. They seemed smaller to Dracolora. I wish Frankie were here, so she thought suddenly... I could ask her what that means. I guess if the sun is higher in the sky, the shadows would be shorter. Maybe. Jackalora felt like she should have been able to figure this out. But the heat and the stress had left her feeling all fuzzy-headed. Find your ghoul friends, she told herself. Worry about the sun and shadows later. Jackalora leaned against the side of the pyramid, trying to take advantage of the narrow strip of shade that was still there. There had been absolutely no sign of Frankie or Clyde. She called their names until she was completely housed. There was only one possible explanation. Her wolf friends were stuck inside the pyramid. The thought of going back inside made Jackalora shiver with fear. Despite the heat of the day, no doubt that mummy was still inside waiting. Maybe he went back to sleep, Jackalora thought, grasping at hope. Maybe he's tucked back into his cozy sacrifice. Sarco oh my gosh, sarcophagus. Ready to snooze away the next thousand years. But what if he wasn't? What if he was lying in wait? <sighs> really, to strike her with the curses of instant, she entered his internal resting place. Jackalora wiped her forehead, then tucked some loose strands of hair behind her ears. She had no choice. She would have to go back into the pyramid to find her ghoul friends. She knew that they'd do the same for her. Dracolora took a deep breath. When she exhaled, the heat exhaustion and the ache in her arms seemed to melt away. She would rescue her ghouls no matter what it took. Okay. Dracolora whispered to herself. It's... Let's do this. Creak! Dracolora froze. The noise sent chills right down her spine. It was the sound of rusty hinges, of scratching nails. The mummy, Jekylora thought. All her muscles tense. She was poised to run or fly. If only she could know what her wings could carry her through another flight. She watched the pyramid's doors with mounting dread. Any moment now, she was sure the mummy would open it. Suddenly, something caught Jackalora's 
eye. It was movement, but not the pyramid, maybe entrance. She squinted, trying to see well despite the blinding brightness of the sky. When Dracolora spotted the small brass rectangle, she subsequently built into the pyramid that she'd never seen even noticed it before a flash of light the door caught the sun as it swung open and a familiar head of hair popped out claudine jackalora screamed she raced over to the little door and helped her ghoul friends climb out then crushed claudine into a massive hug you made it out i was so worried i was just about to go back in and wait there where's frankie right behind you Frankie called. She held out a hand for Dracolora to grab, then warned. Watch out for my stitches. They feel a little loose. Oh, so careful. Claudine and Dracolora pulled Frankie through a itty bitty door. Then all the ghouls celebrated their escape from the pyramid, shrieking and laughing and hugging. I was so worried. Jackalora told them, I thought you hadn't managed to escape. We were worried that you hadn't managed to escape, Claudine told her. I felt so bad leaving you behind with that miserable money, Frankie said, as she gave Jackalora another hug. We shouldn't have split up like that. Jackalora knelt down to take a look at the brass door, which had more hydro graphics carved into it how did you ghouls even find this she asked in amusement it looks like a pet door or something it's been it's because it is claudine replied she knelt down to jack Allure and pushed the door open Come out, new. What are you waiting for? A formal invitation? The brass door swung open once more as the mummy cat appeared. New, Dracolora cried. I didn't think I'd see you again. New saved us, Frankie could declare. We got so lost in the pyramid. Those tunnels were a total maze, Claudine added. We got so twisted and turned around, I didn't know what we'd ever find our way out it was pretty awesome in there though frankie continued there was an entire chamber filled with bling shiny claudine interjected and another one filled with all these bottles and vials frankie finished it was like the world's most amazing chemistry set i would have loved to run some tests to see what was in them new nestled his head against jackalora's shoulder as she cuddled him you must have been a really miserable with that mean old mummy huh she said don't worry you're safe now we'll take you back to monster high with us trust me you're gonna love it and you'll fight right in. Fit right in. New sweetly licked Dracolora with his scratchy pink tongue. Then with a flick of his tail, he jumped off of her lap and started gloping across the sand, scampering like a kitten instead of the 5,000-year-old mummy cat. New, come back, Jack called. Then she turned her ghouls. Was it something I said? Cats can be kind of fickle, Claudine told her. He's been cooping up, cooped up for so long, he probably just wants to be free. I guess so, Dracolora said, though in her heart she was still sorry to see you go. And that is the end of part six.